Let's go down. We're up here, Trev 2323. Really wish I wouldn't have had to do a step four on this. But yep, here I am with thousand grit sandpaper. Like I said, everything looks from far away, it looks beautiful, but when I get up close, I see all the crap sticking out of, out of it. Not the little one, just this bigger stuff. So, I got my bucket of water, and I'm gonna wet sand the hood, and then I'm gonna buff it with uh, Caranuba wax, with Mother's Caranuba wax. So I'm just gonna hit some of this big stuff down. This is a thousand grit sandpaper. I thought I thought I could live with all that extra crap in there until summertime. Not happening. I'm gonna cross hatch this whole hood. And then I'm gonna hit it with the uh, uh, Brazilian Caranuba. Talking about some high spots. Spots tore up the sandpaper, thousand grit sandpaper I had. All right, I'm gonna rinse this off and do some mother's buffing on it now. All right, jack of all trades, master and I'm putting away my tools. I have a buff pad somewhere. Have no idea where I put my buff pad. So I've been using this I cleaned it off with a, a, oh, I cleaned it off with a, a screwdriver it's on the floor over there and uh, I put two coats of Caranuba on this right now I'm just kind of wiping the rest of it off the little stuff off it still isn't gonna be like a new car shine there was just too much build up in the gloss like it says in the sun far away it looks good up close it don't got that kind of new car uh shine to it you know from far away it does but then up close is where you see the little kind of uh, nuggets i guess you could say so uh i'm gonna do uh start on the other side with the wax because i did two coats on this side already so i'm gonna start on this side with the wax over here just in case I got to run to do something uh, that's already done but I did hit it with a a thousand grit sandpaper after all because there was too much big stuff sticking out of it and real big stuff it's not that bad now but I mean it was like terrible before so I'm gonna go ahead and keep waxing it and uh, this is the wax that I just been using I use this all the time I swear by this wax the mother's Caranuba so I just grabbed my buffer. Oh man, no. That was terrible. Okay, now that was terrible. Okay, let me get a screwdriver so I clean my buffer off again. Okay, I don't know if you caught that, but that's what I've been doing. I did that three times on the other side. I want to keep going, do it like five times. But look at that. That's the Brazilian Caravan Nuba, but it's not going to get the complete uh, new car shine. Like, see, this is crystal clear. That's lumpy. Crystal clear. Lumpy. I would actually have to do like maybe shoot it. You know, one thing that I read about is that, uh, you know, because I swear my duplicate, that's what I've been using to put these logos on and everything all the time. But one thing that I read is that duplicate is a really thin paint. So you got to actually get more coats on there to like put a, 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 a flake in the paint because the paint's really thin. So maybe that could be why this is still sticking through.
like I said right there I mean it, it looks nice it looks real shiny but not compared to that I mean that is see this that's, that's water that's not water that's water or from far away I mean it looks nice you know and the sun's not even out in the sun is when you get all the glitter and everything so the sun's not even out right now so either way like I said if I were to do it again I would have used the inner coat clear to put the flake on and I would have uh, inner coat clear and I would have uh, let's see use smaller flake this is just gold flake I would use actually the holographic flake to tell you the truth I really do like that holographic flake so I probably would use that holographic flake but this is gonna be meant to be an attention grabber anyways for that so I guess that is still is gonna do but it's not gonna uh, do it as nice <laughs> either way thanks for watching let me keep buffing this out and maybe you'll see me driving around all right the only other chance I got of saving this I mean it's really not bad but for me it is I expected better of myself like it says because you could tell right there crystal clear not crystal clear crystal clear not crystal clear so the only way I could think about saving this is if I go ahead and uh, I say a lot of wax right there if I go ahead and uh, see this is lacquer the clear on this is lacquer all right so this is probably enamel or acrylic something this isn't this is the way the older cars used to be painted this is the way the newer cars are painted so this right here i don't know if i could top coat another coat of regular car clear on top of this lacquer i'd have to look it up because it might peel it all up but if i put a thicker coat a thicker clear coat on there is the only other way to to fix all that well, like I said, in the sun and far away, it don't look bad at all. It's just when you get up close and you, I mean, you see the little particles in there, provide something that's smooth. So either way, say la vie. I already did it. No taking it back unless I cut it all the way back down with a 60 or 80 grit and start from scratch. And that's not happening right now. Either way, I was able to do that because it's uh, 50 degrees out today. Woo woo, heat wave.